Every day I train for my skills, I try to sharp my skills. It took me a long time to look deep inside of me and to go back to when I was very young, what I really have in my hands. And then I start to understand my feeling, my sensation, my sensibility, my sensitivity. All what I learned before, I break all. And I decide now to do my own rules. The more you train, the more you work, the more the possibilities are coming. And in this case, I believe that um, there is no limit. So my name is uh, Yann Bernard Lejar. I'm uh, chef de cuisine for the restaurant uh, Plums at the Ritz Carlton Bahrain Hotel and Spa. I start to cook for my friend and family around at eight years old. And I was graduated cook at 16 years old. One very important part of my work, it's uh, the global taste. And my speciality, it's more about the sauce. I take very big importance of the sauce because it's a link for all the ingredients and it's uh, a lot of reflection. And then I like the way, in fact, yes, to dispose the sauce on the plate. So for this, more you train and more you are able to deliver the sauce in a nice way, the guests understand it like a painting. And this is a very close part of my work. The name of this dish is Wagyu short ribs, 72 hours slowly cooked. Give him 72 hours to cook it very slowly. Just like this, you flash, it's very melty. I decided to play it on a big acrylic board and to add to this component, so the bones, because for me the beef is very close from the bones, add some teriyaki sauce, add some little powder, like the olive, because I come from the south of France, so Mediterranean Sea is very close for me always. A little bit of the barbecue, red sauce. You always need to have one color, or one taste, to give a little bit smash to the plate, so for this. Now the dessert, uh, the dessert is something very interesting because it's very important to keep the tradition and the classical things because you are sure about the taste and to give them maybe a modern twist. So we decided to do a meringue that we cook in the liquid nitrogen, then to serve this orange with the mix of uh, grapefruit, pomelo, so this, on the meringue. And to add some different sauce, like uh, orange sauce with vanilla, and then to finish with the liquid nitrogen. The name of the dish, liquid nitrogen meringue, that inspired me, in fact, in Bahrain. The attitude of the people, the respect, and I work closely with Bahraini people in the kitchen every day. I really like the taste of Bahrain. I really like the simplicity of the food and the authenticity of the product. Now I think the current trend, it's more about naturality, to find the best ingredient, the research of the authenticity of the product. The best part of my work, and I'm very lucky for this, it's that I have uh, fantastic ladies and gentlemen working with me, and I have a fantastic uh, guidance team who let me free to use all my creativity. And I can deliver the best of my work every day in the restaurant and in the hotel for our guests. Then at the moment at the Ritz Carlton and at Plum in specific, to try to use Bahrain as it was always in history, as a passage between the East and the West. We work very hard for this and I believe that what we are looking for deeply is to give uh, emotion, experience and memories to our guests. Now it's finished.